Good evening and welcome to Compline. As we relax into our Heavenly Father's arms tonight, just take a few moments to watch Teddy Bear breathing. A slow breath in and out. Match yours to his as we calm ourselves tonight. Oh Lord, you will keep us safe and protect us forever. I'm placing my soul and my body in thy safe keeping this night, O oh God. In thy safe keeping, O oh Jesus Christ. In thy safe keeping, O oh Spirit of perfect truth. The three who would defend my cause be keeping me this night from harm. I call on you, O oh God, for you will answer me. Give ear to me and hear my prayer. Show the wonder of your great love, you who save by your right hand, those who take refuge in you from their foes. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me in the shadow of your wings. Lighten my darkness, Lord. Let the light of your presence dispel the shadows of night. Tonight we're looking at the title Under the Carpet. I'm reading Proverbs chapter 10 verse 12. Hatred stirs up strife, but love covers over all offences. Something to ponder this evening. Sweeping things under the carpet, it's not a good idea, is it? Whether we're speaking literally or metaphorically, attempting to keep something hidden rather than tackling it head on only stores up extra trouble in the future. So how do we make sense of the words of the proverb? At first sight, they seem to suggest love does something like this, sweeping our mistakes from public view. <coughs> Excuse me, but this is only half the story. Leave it there and our faults would always be lying beneath the surface, waiting to be dragged out and used against us at any time. Love is different. It not only covers over our offences, but does away with them so completely that when the carpet is lifted, there is no trace to be found. Such love is rare in human relationships. Few of us, however devoted we may be, are able to forgive and forget. But that is the love that God has for us and the love that he calls us to strive towards in turn. So ask yourself, are you willing to forgive and forget or do you brood over hurts inflicted on you, allowing them to fester deep inside? Is God calling you to put an end to some long running grievance or dispute? Let's pray. Gracious God, once more I thank you for the wonder of your love and the awesome extent of your mercy. I have failed you in so much, repeatedly ignoring your will and breaking your commandments. Yet, despite my betrayal, you not only forgive, but also put my mistakes behind me. However often I go astray, however great my faults and however feeble the love I show in return, you are always willing to forget and move on. Teach me the secret of such love. Touch my heart with your goodness and so may I learn to let go of past hurts and build up instead for the future. May I be an agent of your healing, redeeming and renewing grace to the glory of your name. Amen. Christ with me sleeping, Christ with me waking, Christ with me watching, each day and each night. Save us, Lord, while we are awake. Guard us while we are asleep, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in his peace. God with me protecting, the Lord with me directing, the Spirit with me strengthening for ever and forevermore. In the name of the Father precious, and of the Spirit of healing balm, in the name of the Lord Jesus, I lay me down to rest. 
peace of all peace be mine this night. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you so much for being with me this evening. As I always say and always will, when you pray for others, remember you need to pray for yourself. When you care for others, remember you need to care for yourself. And let's continue to pray for the world in which we live. Good night and God bless you.